boys and puppets, Big Phil here with some more comedy project. Freaking last time, uh, we continued down this current event within the white fog, heaven, and hell. And a nice little cheery uh, event so far. I mean, uh, last time, we took a trip into hell with Yamaraja. And of course, you know, everything was all nice, everything was pretty. It was like a freaking uh, tourist attraction, hell. And Yamaraja didn't take too kindly to that. In hindsight, if hell was that good, then what's going to be stopping people from, you know, not killing or committing mass genocide in the other realm? So, yeah. We got to make sure that hell is a scary place that nobody wants to visit. And, you know, make sure that order is kept within the other realms. You know, because, because everybody fears the the uh, consequence of going to hell. So, yeah. We challenged the, uh, previ the Edelon, who's in charge of this place. So she went ahead and challenged us to a fair fight to see who could rule over hell. So yeah, I mean, a very nice, uh, very, uh, polite, uh, gentleman's match, pretty much. So yeah, let, uh, we finished the extra level raid, so let's kick off the Ragnarok raid, shall we? Let's, uh, get this out of the way because I'm still in burst time, so let's kick it off and strike while the iron is hot. Alright, here we go! Freaking Ragnarok Raid versus Abo! Oh my goodness, and we got burst time, so we're gonna do good work in this one! Alright, I'm gonna freaking warm myself up before we actually call for aid, just to get that, like, like, a good bit of damage before I start calling in, because we are still pretty early. Uh, I have six days left before this event ends. So I have plenty of time to farm, plenty of time to farm, and, uh, yeah. This early on, Ragnarok, everybody's trying to get a position to uh, do stuff in Rag other Ragnarok raids. So yeah, so yeah. The way this boss fight works is that she, uh... Okay, the way this boss fight works uh, is that... Originally, like, initially, she doesn't do all that much damage. I mean, she has standard attacks, a standard basic attack. And, uh, you know, her overdrive isn't all that much uh, damaging on its own. But, she constantly hits you with spells in which it, uh, it brings, it brings your resistance to her overdrive, uh, down. So, the more stacks of that debuff you get, the stronger her ultimate attack will be to you. So, that's pretty much how this works. So, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of how this fight works from what I can see. She gets da okay. In other words, she gets dangerous as the fight progresses because more of those stacks means her damp her uh, overdrive would be that much more damaging to you. Okay, let's see how much damage Sano does. Meh, couple uh, chips, but nothing too drastic. Can we at least blind her? And we're gonna freaking throw up a, uh, something that negates that debuff once. So, okay, so let's see. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna use our Bard Elon real quickly. Shame, I would kill for Anubis, but we didn't have any Anubises available once, uh, for this particular raid. But whatever, what can you do? Oops. Okay, so we all set. Let's see how much damage we do. She got, she has double defense down. So this should be very powerful. But let's see it. Good lord, this lag. I think it has, I mean, I'm not sure if it's the uh, recording program I have, but uh, the frame rate is pretty pathetic. I'm gonna have to look into that. I mean, I'd rather not build this on my new PC because of this website. I want to avoid all these pop-up ads as much as possible. But we shall see. <coughs> Excuse me. How much damage is that? Kasano's my heavy hitter. Ah, uh, freaking 175k damage. Full burst, and how much is it? 100k that one. Okay, so you see that? That would have placed a debuff on me, and I would have got that, uh, which would increase the power of her special attack to that one person. But we had that, uh, Resistance up, so that's one um, move that's negated. So how much was that? How much damage was that? Okay, 1.2 million. So my not as strong as my fire team, but it's pretty strong. Okay, so you know what? 
I'm gonna go ahead and get a sticker. Oh, I was like, is Nealthep in here? Do I have the uh, Nealthep sticker? There she is. Actually, no, just for shits and giggles, uh, actually, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and freaking, uh, I should've used this one. I should've used, uh, freaking use, uh, yes, her. I don't wanna work! Yes, use Yamaja. Oh, I, I forget. Right, anyway, uh, let's uh, go ahead and call for aid right now. Uh, request support. Send it out to everybody. Okay, yes, there we go. Because we are still plenty early. I got six days left. Which means, at this time, everybody is scrambling to get some, get a, get a piece of Ragnarok. So, we can expect this raid to fill up quickly. But in the meantime, we gotta pick and do as much damage as possible. And she's about to go into Raging, there it is. Wait, did anybody get the debuff? What happened to Arthur? I'm pretty sure something happened to Arthur. Ah, yes, here it is. Crime added, judgment uh, damage up. So, yeah, that's the move that she does during over overdrive, which is damage, which is, you know, judgment. So, once she hits Arthur with it, it's going to cause more damage than normal. And I think Arthur was the only one that was hit? I don't know. But let's continue. Yes, that was a move, but okay, so I guess, what? I think, uh, I think, oh my goodness, what? I think, who, what was her face, Thantos was also hit with it, I didn't check. I thought it was just Arthur, but apparently that happened. Or maybe it's just extremely overpowered due to it being Ragnarok. All right, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. At least let's keep going. Ah, uh, can't believe it. Oh, a whole lot of people got it this time. Oh boy. I mean, if he hits, if she hits boss with it, she's going down. Do I have anybody else in here with me? No, it's just me. I'm pretty sure I call for support. Did I request support? Yes, I did, but nobody's coming in here. What the hell? I thought people would be jumping at the opportunity to join me. Oh, well, we're probably gonna get freaking wrecked if nobody else comes in here. Where's everyone? <laughs> really, though? I think it's just overpowered because it's Ragnarok. So we pretty much get one shot us, but we lost Sano. God damn it. Okay, so let's see, uh hit with this. This and a rage. Wow, to think I would be struggling this much, like this early on. Ah. Well, at least we're gonna pop. At least. Oh, wait, we can't begin using. We can not pop because Lubu would still be enraged. Okay, we're gonna try this. Oh, look, there's somebody. We got one, we got two, I think, okay, so everybody's starting to come in. I think it was just because that there was another raid going on and everybody was up on that one. And now they're joining my raid. Okay, we can't, ah, damn it. 
Okay, so maybe she'll focus down Mains because Mains is isn't is freaking uh, not is gonna be invincible this next turn. So hopefully she focuses down Mains. Holy crap! Yep, that's what happened. Everybody was on another raid. That raid ended, and now they're coming to help me out. Come on, focus down Mains. Focus down Mains. Huh? Okay, so we debuffed her, which is probably why we survived that. At any rate, uh, this means we can do another burst. It's not gonna be as powerful because, well, we lost Sano. Oh well, can't win them all. Here we go, another another burst. And it's gonna be a full burst too. Like I said, not as powerful because we lost Sano. But hey. Oh, perhaps I should have held off on it for another turn and got that one. Uh, would have been more powerful if I had that uh, Dragoon uh, debuff. But good lord. Everybody is coming in here now. What's... Seriously, what's going on? The latency or the frame rate is something to be desired right now. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Yes, everybody's doing work. Everybody's doing a whole lot of work. But yeah, in just a span of like, what, less than a minute, we had like 17 people join us? And now my thing's crashing. I think she may be dead already. Holy crap! I mean, whoa! Whoa! My skin, my screen. Froze up for like what 10 seconds? And a health figure dropped. Whatever, can I attack him one more time? Nope, she's dead. Well, I mean, uh, there you go. Hot damn. That's the thing about these Ragnarok raids. You see, it was slow to start because I'm guessing there was another raid going on and people jumped on that one. And uh, once that raid ended, everybody came into my raid at the same time and started freaking hitting her, hitting her with everything. When that happens, uh, it takes a while for my uh, raid to register like what's being done to her. And when the uh, game is trying to catch up to everything that's being done with her, debuffs, the damage, and all that, it creates it creates a whole lot of lag on my end as somebody who is currently in the raid. But whatever, we done did it. Even though she kicked our ass, like that move is. Like, extremely powerful just by being in Ragnarok alone. But whatever. We did it. We can move on. Thank goodness. Well, that definitely wasn't one of my better freaking impromptu uh, Ragnarok raids. Oh my goodness. Uh, that was actually pretty pathetic. I mean, both? Well, not really my performance per se, but the technical difficulties that came with it. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm not sure what's wrong with my laptop when it comes to figuring out doing these like levels especially while I'm recording but what can you do I mean that's one of those uh, things I'm gonna chalk up to uh, technical difficulties at first it started out fine it was well somewhat slow but nothing too drastic and but you know it all went downhill once everybody decided to come into my uh, freaking uh, raid all at once apparently I'm not apparently there was another raid going on which was why nobody was joining mine and all of a sudden, that raid, that raid ended in the span of, what, a minute? Maybe two? It's like the whole raid got filled up. Like, 15-plus people came in within the span of a minute. Ha! Ah. Ah, ha, but whatever. What, whatever. I mean, yeah. Because of that, you know, with the game trying to register all the damage and the uh, debuffs that were being put on the boss, it damn near crashed. In fact, it did crash. It, once the uh, match ended, it crashed, and we had to see Nikki. But, before it crashed, I was able to find out that I made MVP of that particular raid. And I'm always proud when I hit MVP, especially when when I'm doing my first, holding my first Ragnarok raid. But, whatever, whatever, I'm going on a tangent. But, yeah, that's the that was a Ragnarok raid, the freaking the holy hoof that cleanses sins. And with that done, we can actually move on to the epilogue and actually finish this event. Ah, I mean, nice event. We had a nice little, uh... Gentlemen's match with the uh, main uh, antagonist of this event, and, and uh, you know it all worked out. We beat her, so let's see. 
Let's see how this whole event ends and let's see if Yamaraja can get held back or if she even, you know, wants to get held back because she's been avoiding it. So anyway, here we go. Epilogue. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. The epilogue. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay, so last time, uh, yeah, before the uh, Ragnarok raid and the raids, we challenged uh, this girl, uh, picking Abo, to uh, picking a gentleman's match for the right to rule hell. And uh, let's see how that concluded. I mean, she was very sporting when it came to issuing the challenge and putting the stakes on the table, but let's see how she takes it in the end. Yep, sorry, Papa, but we, uh, we can beat you fair and square in both Ultimate and Ragnarok Raid, so you ain't got to say in the matter anymore. <laughs> well, I mean, at least she's taking it like a champ. At least she's taking it like a champ. Like, it's, uh, I lost fair and square. Okay, you can, you win, and you can have hell. Good lord, Yamaraja, you sound so winded. And oh yeah, by the way, I decided to take a look at the uh, footage from the uh, first episode of this uh, event. And Yamaraja, everybody's calling her the nickname of Yama. Yes. If you watch Dragon Ball, the king of hell, King Yama... This is the same person. This is the uh, Gajinka version of that guy. Uh, the person who oversees hell. So yeah, I can't believe it took me that long to realize who she was. God damn it. Oh, I'm, whatever. She's absolutely winded. I mean, uh, she put a heart and soul into, the, into that fight. Actually, no, not really. She didn't do jack shit. I mean, it was my freaking dog team. That did all the work. I mean, she was nowhere to be. Um, Yamaraja over here was nowhere to be, be found. Well, well, that was easy. Uh, wow. Uh, freaking. You're taking this like a champ. Like, a, very spoiling of you, Poppin. I mean, uh, I was not expecting this for, of you. I mean, freaking hand over the, the, uh, the uh, charge of hell back to Yamaraja. I thought she would be a bit more upset about it, but whatever. I mean, be grateful. I mean, freaking, you busted your ass and now you're freaking exhausted. She hardly broke a sweat. Huh, <laughs> pity you. Surrounded by the members of the staff after a long time, Yamaraja feels nervous. Once she's ready, she focuses her mind and speaks out. <laughs> That's right. Good. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, but yeah, that's right. That's right, Papa. If we can take charge, take a take your throne with a freaking uh, a presence. Yes, Lady Yamaraja. I can't believe you're back. Lady Yamaraja is back. We have to tell everyone. Uh, wait. Um, I just thought of something with how uh, freaking Abo just openly challenged her, challenged Yamaraja to a fight like fair and square and uh, yeah, she lost but it didn't look like she was putting that much effort, she was perfectly fine uh, she she hardly broke a sweat well Yamaraja over here was all freaking winded and exhausted my my bamboozle senses are tingling is this real? Is this real? This, this isn't just some big, all this, all this, all this absorbed, the freaking a bow and the freaking uh, demon being kicked out. This isn't just some ploy to get Yamaraja back to work, is it? It better not be. Oh my goodness, please don't tell me I caught it again. Ah, um, no, 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 no. Yamaraja makes the announcement in front of some excited staff members who starts passing the news around. Um, yeah, I mean, they are all set and all ready to go for the news uh, change. Uh, back with uh, Yamaraja taking charge again. This isn't planned, is it? Uh -huh. 
My bamboozled uh, senses are tingling. Uh, I think we've just been bamboozled, tricksed. Uh, I think you've just been played, Yamaraja. I, I mean, I really don't know. Well, yep, oh, they can be, uh, they can say hell, which is a good thing. Yes, all the pieces are coming together. Uh, too, I mean, too easy. Too easy. It's all worked out way too smoothly, which means uh, this is probably not all real. Oh, it's the sub boss, and she's handed her paperwork already. Like, as if it was at the ready. It's as if she was waiting in the corner, waiting for Yamaraji to go, I'm the new ruler of hell now, and she had a contract in hand. I think we've been played. I think we've been bamboozled. Oh my goodness. Yes, oh. oh my goodness, what does it say on the fine print, Poppet? Um, Yamaraja, did you read? Did you read that? Did you read the fine print? You, I mean, don't make the same mistakes I did. Um, well, I mean, she served the rule of hell, and now that is you, Yamaraja. So it's only natural that she would be uh, like there for you when uh, you took the uh, thr throne again. As Yamaraja screams, there is an explosion. Smoke spreading everywhere. A wall collapses, sending smoke everywhere. Uh, redundance? Wait! Was it all? Was it really fake? That resort, the onsen, was it really just cardboard cut away? Like, cheap knockoff, you actually get the illusion that hell really has cha We really did get by Mozo, didn't we? We really got played! We really got freaking Yamaraja, and we really got played. Oh my god! Oh, um, we've been bamboozled. When is this easy? When is this cheery? It, 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 you can't trust it. It's fake. Oh my fucking god! Oh damn it! I have a feeling. I have a feeling we we got played. I think we got played. I think we, I think you mostly got played, Yamaraja. <laughs> Bitch! 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 You and Elisa! No, no, was it Lisa and then uh, the entire time? Oh my good, Elisa. She, she, she was in the bamboozlement. She was part of the bamboozlement. She, we got, oh my, we got played. We got played. We got played. It was all a ploy to get freaking, freaking Yamaraja back to work. Oh my goodness. I feel embarrassed right now. Yes, Yama. That's what they called it. Yama. As in King Yama. They are freaking from Dragon Ball. That's the same Yama. Elisa is pointing at some staff members and monsters holding a banner in the street. What? Wait, did they? Was was everybody in on it? Like the monsters being kicked out, the staff members, like everybody was. The, the sole purpose was to bring Yamaraja back. Bamboozled, bamboozled. At least they missed you. I mean, you should feel special, Yamaraja. I mean, you may have been tricked, you may have been fooled, you may have been bamboozled, but hey, at least uh, you know, you were loved somewhere. <laughs> It was a huge trick. It was a huge trick. We've been we've been tricksed. We've been bamboozled. Oh, fucking a! Oh, I can't wait to use that bamboozle uh, emote in my Twitch. No, don't worry. I'm 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 gonna draw that myself uh, personally. Ah. Wait. Hold on. Wait. Oh wait. I was in on the bamboozlement too. Holy crap, I was the bamboozler! Figured Yamaraja was the bamboozle -y. I was in on it! Oh man, I feel like such a dickweed now! Oh, like, I'm sorry, Yamaraja. I'm sorry, Yama. <laughs> 
Actually, that's a pretty... Uh, that's pretty witty. That's that's pretty witty. I, I gotta use that phrase someday. Wait, what? Why am I... You told... Oh, that's right. I was half asleep. I guess I freaking... Uh, got knocked out and I fell asleep while she was telling me this whole thing. God damn it. Uh, if I freaking was awake, I would have been the uh, bamboozler instead of the bamboozle Well, d damn it! Now I'm embarrassed! <sighs> you could have used smelling salt. I mean, you could have freaking uh, whacked me over the head with that staff. You could have done anything to wake me up. And now I feel, feel left out and I feel stupid. Well, thanks, Elisa. Well, I guess because uh, you weren't supposed to be on this trip to begin with, huh? Alright. Well, okay, so that's why, uh, okay, th that's a good enough reason uh, not to tell Kibale then, I guess. So, I guess we should chalk up Kibale to be in Bamboozle as well? Have a nice little Bamboozle party? Good lord, she thought of everything! Like, every angle! I mean, we, she played us like puppets! We were freaking... freaking she played them strings, god damn it! Wait, so, okay, so the monsters went into our realm just to freaking lure, uh, Yamaraja back into hell then. But what would happen if she didn't decide not to come back to hell? Then we would just have monsters, like, roaming around our realm, causing mischief? What was the thought process? I'm guessing because they missed you? I mean, that's pretty, like, that's saying something if they went through all this just to get you back. I mean, if they really did miss you. What, riotous? As in there was no, uh, nobody to, uh, keep charge of them, or riotous as in they really miss Yamaraja and they were that depressed that she left. Okay, so nobody could run hell and keep it in order like Yamaraja, you just wanted her back, like to keep everything under control. So you did all this. Well, I mean, it suits me just fine. <laughs> oh, you hear that, Yamaraja? I mean, you're a celebrity in hell. I mean, everybody here misses you. I mean, you, you, you should feel honored about that. You should feel good about that. That there's somebody out there that you know wants you back and they need you. I mean, that's a very good feeling, in my opinion. Of course, this one had her part to play, but she decided to have a bit of fun with it. Okay, it was a convincing uh, uh, act. Growl! Oh, and this little girl. Okay, so I guess she's cool then. I guess she's cool. I mean, nobody's trying to kick her out. Oh my. Oh, uh, wow. Everybody's in on it. Lady Yamaraja, welcome back. I knew you'd be back. Okay, hold up now. Hold up now. How does Yamaraja feel about all this? Will she be cool with it, or will she just uh, try to run away again? For Lady Yamaraja! Hell's not the same without Lady Yamaraja! Okay, okay, don't ham it up too much. I mean, don't make the poor girl cry. Okay, we can ease up on it. I mean, that's true. I mean, you don't want to have her do the heavy lifting. I mean, you, you gotta split the uh, payload. I mean, don't overwork her too much. Oh, and she's asking the question directly. How will Yamaraja answer? 
Soon around you all a crowd of staff and monsters gather, all cheering for Yamaraja. How can you turn this uh, display, this welcoming party down, Yamaraja? I would like to see you try. Yep, I think I did say this one of the earlier chapters. You don't know what you have until it's gone. Oh my goodness. Oh, she's going back to her freaking, uh, she's going back to hell because she realized how much, it, you know, it needs her, how much it missed her. Oh, freaking kudos to you, Yamaraja. Ah, oh, that's, this is so sweet. Yes, all's well that ends well, you know, minus the whole bamboozum and how I've been played, how we've been played this entire time. Had me completely fooled. Yes, everyone in hell loves you. You are a celebrity in hell. Take that what you will. Oh, wait, oh, so the, so the onsen is staying. I mean, th th that's cool. That's cool. I don't mind the uh, onsen stain. I like me a good onsen. Uh, wish, I mean, I miss uh, the onsen when I went to Japan. Oh, man, never again. So in the end, you are going to make hell a tourist attraction. Just like I said from the very beginning. Just like how it was set up. I mean, I don't know. Uh, freaking having uh, hell as a resort. I could get behind that. I wouldn't mind visiting the uh, the hell hell amusement park. Okay, how would you develop a uh, hell as a uh, country? Oh my goodness, what, what's going to be your first command as rule of hell again? Yamaha puts her stamp on a document. The pleasant sound reverberates around. Oh my goodness, she stamped it! She freaking did that whole freaking red stamp on a... Uh, bam! Just bam, sentenced! Oh, Oh my goodness, more documents up, and here is the uh, decline in motivation. It's like seeing the freaking piles of paperwork. All right, you brought this upon yourself, Yamaraja. Enjoy it. Up, mm -hmm. oh, oh man, she's gonna. Uh, will she be overwhelmed? Yep, it's all coming back to her. It's like, oh no, the paperwork, the documents, the legalities. Oh man, I forgot why I left hell in the first place. Uh, can I have second thoughts? Nope, Yamaraja, you are staying put. A huge pile of documents is placed in front of Yamaraja. In addition to that, the staff members have lined up, each one carrying a pile of documents. Well, this is pretty much overworking her already, with how lazy she is. Well, I guess you reap what you sow, Yamaraja. I mean, are we going to give a hand? Are we going to help out Yamaraja with the paperwork? I don't know. It's the least we could do for her. She's going to figure to abandon this uh, hell again, isn't she? Does she have a choice? You already she already signed the paperwork. Everyone looks at Yamaraja apologetically. Yamaraja understands the situations, tears filling her eyes. Oh my goodness, she's gonna freaking suck it up and take it just like a responsible ruler of hell would. Oh man, this poor girl. Don't worry, Yamaraja, you can do it. You got the whole... We get troop of hell behind ya! Well, I mean, uh, I still consider this a happy ending. 
さんの列一番奥が全然見えないなのエンマさん体壊さないかな Yeah, get wrecked, Yamaraja. I mean, at least you got good motivation. You're holding to your responsibilities, even though、uh, the responsibilities are gonna overpower you. But whatever. I, you have my full support. Well, yes, I mean, that's how they usually get. They get all motivated and then they see the fine print. That's how it usually is. Oh, really? You're g o n n a pull that, Elisa? Freaking Yamaraj is over there in mounds and mounds of paperwork and documents, and we're just g o n n a say, We're g o n n a have fun. We're g o n n a go on vacation. Sorry,、uh, Yamaraj. Suck it.、Uh, you're cruel, Elisa. Why, yes, when life gives you lemons, you, uh, you forget to、uh, have an onsen scene. That's what I always say. So, you put up. Most about the ties I stay, aim like a shibuto yarito get a toko, mito doki maso. Antamo, so did he? I guess it's okay, but yeah, we gotta check on Yamaraja. We don't want to get too overwhelmed with the, uh, return party. Ah, to, here are me nice to the carane. What? No way! I mean, there's little left to, to the imagination at this point, Elisa. I mean, I've already seen her naked, okay? Let that sink in, okay? All right, I mean, we made it to this far, so let's have fun. I mean, screw Yamaraja, just leave her to her、uh, duties. It is the least we could do. I mean, poor Yamaraja over here. I feel for her. The group takes a few days off in hell. At the end, nothing special happens. Okay, so what? Nothing special as in no, uh, hanky pank? Alright, whatever. I mean, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta keep that, we gotta moderate the、uh, amount of, uh, age scenes we gotta get into. I mean, there's always gotta be a limit. Before long, when Yamaraja gets her job done, the group buys some maju and heads back to Mega Frontier. Oh, oh, so Yamaraja's coming back with us? I mean, did she? Blank. That's. Maybe it's had to continue, I'm not sure. Yep, it is. Up,、oh, and there you have it. There we go. That's the event in full. Yes, ah,、oh, my goodness. A, a nice event. A nice event. I, I liked it. I liked it. It was fun. It was, the, it was not too depressing. And, well, yeah. We got bamboozled. We got freaking bamboozled.、Uh, I do not like being bamboozled, but whatever. What can you do? What can you do? And, yes, you can see that, uh, Time has passed, like a whole lot of time has passed since、uh, you last saw this、uh, screen. Technical difficulties. Like, I had to crop that, the,、uh, me reading that,、uh, the epilogue, because、uh, sometimes my mic just gave out and I had to freaking end the、uh, stream right there, go back, re edit, and do all that kind of stuff. It was a major time waster. But, but hopefully, this episode, all these episodes, will come out in a timely manner. I mean,. Technical difficulties. You pretty much saw them during the、uh, Ragnarok raid.、Uh, my computer is just acting a bit, you know, finicky right now. And I do apologize that it cuts into me uh, doing uh, videos of Kamehameha Project. But hopefully,、um, I will be able to get the rhythm down and we can actually have better videos. I plan on、uh, freaking,、uh, doing a final check of my,、uh, my ga actual gaming PC. To see if I can, I can actually, to see if I can actually、uh, film like a c o m e d y project videos and maybe even m i l l e n n i u m War Aegis videos without having pop up ads just constantly hound on me. I hate that. I hate that with a passion. Huh. But whatever. I mean, that's the event. Liked it. I mean, we've been bamboozled. Nice、uh, thing with the Amaraja.、Uh, 
Very nice, very nice. I I dig it. I dig it a whole lot. And I'm not sure what's the next event gonna be. But hopefully this will be a nice break from doing events like doing events in general. Just maybe some advent battles and some uh, crucibles. Just a nice break, because I gotta catch up on not only Kamahimi Project, but other but other games as well. Huh. But I'm not sure what's gonna happen next, but we will find out what's gonna be together. So please keep an ear out for what I do on YouTube, boys or puppets. So in the meantime, boys or puppets, y'all better behave yourselves. If you decide to misbehave, be sure to invite me because I am bored and I need something fun to do. Carry on!